everybody, it's Lori. I'm working on a new painting today. It's gonna to be a 12 by 12 canvas. And I wanna show you a painting that I did is uh, video number 67 of mine. It's all dried, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love how this painting turned out. It's really, really pretty. If you watch that video, you will see um, I worked in three different techniques with this <laughs> and this is what I ended up with and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna try and recreate a bit of it today and see what we get. I used a marble for this painting, this one here that I did prior and my Fibonacci swirl technique and I also did sort of like a dirty pour on top of it and I kept going because the painting just wasn't turning out the way I wanted it to. And I had uh, messed up my swirl when I did it. So <laughs> I kept going and going. And finally, I got something I absolutely loved. And I wouldn't have dreamed it would have came out that beautiful. So I wanted to show you that painting all dried. And it, like I said, that was my video number 67, if you'd like to see that. But today, I'm going to do something a little bit similar. I cover my canvas in the white paint. This paint that I'm using is my White House paint, and I do have some golden GAC 800 mixed in with it. And actually, I put a little bit of water in this one as well to thin it even a little bit further for me. So that's what I'm gonna start with. I will leave in the description box the colors that I'm using as well today. I'm gonna go ahead and just cover this real quick so we can get started. Okay, I have my paint all down here. I'm gonna go ahead and torch it to remove the air bubbles. I would also like to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel. I highly appreciate you. And if you could hit the thumbs up button for me and subscribe if you have not already, that is much appreciated. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down some petals here on my canvas. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my marble to run the marble through these petals. I'm going to put down is yellow. We'll go ahead and speed this part up for you. This one here is a metallic purple. Like I said, I'll just go and list all the paints down in the description box for you. It'll help speed up the video. If you have any questions, Please leave them down below in the comments section. I'll be more than happy to answer you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that is a heavy marble. <laughs> now at this point in my last video, I actually did use a tool that I'm gonna use again. 
There's uh, this one here. Actually, I do think I am going to tilt this first. I was debating whether I should. All right, this is really pretty already. I'm tempted to leave it just like this. <laughs> but since I did sort of want to recreate what I did in that other painting, I must go on. So this is looking really nice though. I like this a lot. Let me zoom in for you and give you a close up of what I have so far. I like this a lot. The colors are very vibrant. The lines are nice and clean. There is no mudding. There's nothing like that going on with the paints. It looks really pretty. Now, let's see. At this point, what I wanna do, I'm sort of thinking as I go. Like I said, I really like this. I almost, I almost hate to keep going, but I'm going to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tool here and um, run it through my paint. That's that. Boy, that was pretty. <laughs> all right, so now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm getting all these really cool effects in my paint, which I absolutely love. I've been using forks and cones and all sorts of things for a while now, probably about a year now, but I had not retried it with house paint until recently. I absolutely love this. Gonna put some paint now in a cup here. I'm gonna sort of just layer them in real quick. Looking very pretty. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna lay this down. These colors are amazing together, wow. All right, this looks awesome. All right, time to get messy. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna torch this real quick. Okay, and away we go. Time to get messy. Got my rag handy dandy. <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited. These colors are really pretty. I hope you can see that. Whoop. Go a little bit more. Got a lot of paint on here. I tried to keep it in camera shot for you as best I can. It's very wet, very slippery, so bear with me. I'm only a little girl. <laughs> Sometimes I have a hard time with these canvases, but hey, I do pretty good considering these things are bigger than I am. <laughs> well, maybe not this one. This one's only 12 by 12, which is a still, it's a nice size. I tipped more off there than I um, originally thought I was going to because I decided there was a section there I wanted to dump off, so I got rid of it. Now I'm coming back down into the middle here. All right. Come this way with it down to the side. All right, I like that better. 
I'm gonna see if I can't tilt it just a little bit more that way. There's a lot of paint up here still, but a lot of it has come off. And I'm liking the way this is looking much better now. Oh, oh that's a shame. See, it's it very slippery, difficult to hold. Oh, that's too bad, but that's okay. We can fix it. Oh, that is a shame, but that's okay. Ugh, I need to change my gloves. It's all right, it's all good. Luckily, it was just on the edge, so I can fix that. Not a big deal, very easy fix. This is turning out beautiful, so I'm very happy with it. I just need to uh, keep going here a little bit longer. All right, I have a little bit of paint left in the cup, just for such a sake. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's try this again. <laughs> well, now I have clean and dry gloves on, so that should be helpful. So here's where my hand hit it. So I'm gonna pour this part off down here where the yellow is that I just put on. I'm trying to keep it in camera as best I can. My apologies if I'm kind of all over the place. I'm gonna tip off this edge here a little bit. Really pretty. This is looking really nice. I'm gonna zoom in a bit for you. You can get a much closer look here. So I like the iridescence I get with the copper and the gold. The copper adds some nice contrast to it. I like the cells I get when I use my paint, my house paint there. And I'm liking the way all these blues are mixing. I like the middle here with the uh, purple and the blue mix. That's really pretty. You get like an effect where you see the color underneath the white, it's very neat looking. Um, I can't seem to zoom in any closer than that. I will take my phone down and give you a better close up for that. I just think this is a really, really neat. It's starting to do that over here too as well, but it's more prominent over in that section. So I will try and show you it better over there. So let me do that for you. Yeah, right here we go for another close up from this perspective. It ought to be able to get a little bit closer here for you. Okay, so the area that I'm talking about is the white parts that I have the color underneath. If you can see that, I think that's really cool. This section right here, you can really see it. So what do you guys think of this? This one I had to tilt more than I actually originally wanted to, um, especially when I Almost dropped it, but I caught it <laughs> and my finger went into the paint, but that's okay. I was able to save it, so I was happy. But this is really neat. It came out really amazing, actually. I like it a lot. There's the copper and the gold. See if I can catch any of this iridescence for you. I like this, uh, the way the blues blend together there is really pretty. I don't know. I could just like sort of look at this all day. <laughs> but I won't subject you to that. I will move onward. And I like the sides a lot. Well, that's that. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you did, I'd uh, like you to hit the thumbs up button if you wouldn't mind. Thanks so much. And I'll see you again soon on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.